Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doka Metal video. In this video, we are going to take a look at the Extreme Z area for the Protector of the Future, and that is the LR Prime Battle Trunks. So, of course, we want to take a look at the LR Prime Battle Trunks and his easier area. We'll take a look at him in an individual review video, but to activate this event or to get through this event you have to have all of the units with their hidden potential fully activated and all of them except for first form cell have to be awakened um, or easier awakened I should say so they need to be easier awakened they have to have their EZA and then basically um, they're fine like then everything's okay there's only one stage and that stage drops the rainbow medals. You will need 45 medals in total. So you will need 10, 15 and 25. So you're going to need uh, all of that. And Trunks' easy A looks pretty good. Uh, he's attack and defense of 40% with an additional attack and defense of 40% when performing a super attack. He gets key plus three when facing only one enemy and gains additional attack and defense when he is facing multiple enemies as well. So he looks pretty good. There are some missions. Uh, the missions are just to perform uh, certain steps of his Extreme Z Awakening. So once you fully complete those, you will receive all the rewards and a total seven stones and a Elder Kai, uh, which is obviously something pretty good and pretty nice. So yeah, uh, in terms of building your team, it's all laid out for you. There's no nothing really important that you need to know. Uh, everything is set up. You have to build this exact team. There's nothing really to do. Your best lead's going to be uh, the Android 17, obviously. He's going to be your number one priority. But yeah, that's it. You have to build your team this way. So if you're wondering how you build your team, that's it. What you can do to improve your odds, uh, you can place equipment on the units. So you can place uh, life equipment, attack equipment, defense equipment, crits, additionals, whatever you want or whatever you want to spare is more I should say. Anything will help, even if it's evasion or something. Uh, yeah, it may not proc or anything like that, but uh, any form of equipment will always help you. Um, and if you are struggling and you want to push the odds in your favor, slapping nine additional on every single unit is still gonna help you. Uh, it's not gonna, you know, happen all the time but it might dodge that super for example that you, you don't really want to get hit by uh, but for the most part prioritizing things like um, you know damage uh, defense additionals crits those type of things are what's really gonna help you um, so for me like you can focus on those but it's just gonna depend on you know how you feel it's also gonna depend on a little bit of luck obviously so a little important tip you don't need all the units to have max SA uh, so you don't need to have a max 20 SA on the cell and you don't need to have max 15 SA on all of the units uh, you only need to have them rainbowed so you can leave them all at 10 it will make it slightly harder um, for most for the most part you could probably leave it on cell it's not really necessary uh, but if you are going to do that, then I would suggest definitely making up the ground with some more powerful equipment. Uh, that's going to help you much more overall um, and will cancel out the fact that you don't want to raise the SA. Raising the SA of most of the units is easy. You just need to get a second copy, the SA5. Um, at least that's what I can suggest. Also, if you get left with a rotation that's all strength, um, it is just a little bit tough. It is one of those things that can happen. But you'll be fine. So you can get between four to five medals per run. You also have a chance at question marks, which will drop seven medals as well. Um, so ideally, it should take anywhere between seven to nine runs. Uh, it took me eight. So that's a good indicator of how many times it's going to take you to finish the stage or at least get enough medals to get trunks. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And we're just going to cut back when I have enough medals. And then we'll essentially jump back in, I'll awaken Trunks, and then that's it. Uh, so, yeah, nothing too hard. Uh, jump through in time. There we go. Uh, I now have enough medals. Like I said, I ran it eight times. Uh, and if you go to the LR Trunks, you will see that I'll be able to awaken them. 
Awakening him will push his SA uh, all the way to 25. Uh, so you're either going to need to use uh, Elder Kai's or you're going to need to get a third copy or another copy of Trunks to LR State and to SA5. Um, I'm just going to use Kai's because you are going to be refunded the five Kai's from the Extreme Challenge campaign. But if you want to gain five Elder Kai's, then you can always farm the third copy or maybe you already have. Um, and it's something that's really good for you because five Kai's obviously is still pretty cool. But yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Uh, that's all you really need to know. And I wish you guys good luck and I hope you really enjoyed the new Prime Battle EZA. We'll take a look at him in another video. I have mine at all level 10 links. So that's going to be something interesting to see, uh, at least in the video, because obviously I like trunks. But yeah, that's pretty much it from me, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, uh, please leave a like, as it does always help me out. And if you have any queries, you can leave a comment down below. Do not forget to claim your rewards. But as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in the next one. So until then, take care, stay safe and bye.